Shantana is the glue. Shantana's role as founder for Sister Girl Foundation is one that she takes very seriously. She has poured her heart and soul, literally, into this foundation. The best thing about working with Shantana is that she has such an amazing energy with her that no matter what is happening, you feel good and you feel successful. Shantana has this really special gift that she can be amongst like a lot of people, thousands of people, yet you are special to her regardless. Shantana is a one woman library of information and she carries resources with her to help other women and so that was our first meeting point was out at Dunkin Donuts in Bridgeport where I could give her more information about breast cancer prevention so she could share it at the many community events that she participates in. When we were trying to establish the Bridgeport Making Strides Against Cancer in Seaside Park we needed a Bridgeport resident to be our champion. And when I realized Shantana was a Bridgeport resident, I asked her to come to Bridgeport City Hall and testify to make our case for using Seaside Park for making strides. And Shantana came out, not alone, but with the sister girls, and testified and won over the city council, and they started applauding. So it was really Shantana's energy that galvanized the entire city to support the American Cancer Society's signature event. I think that Shantana's work with Sister Girl Foundation inspires others because of the example that she sets. It's not done for notoriety, it's not done for the accolades. She really puts her heart and soul into this foundation. I think that Sister Girl Foundation is important for women who are going through cancer because it serves as a compass. It, it provides direction for women who may not know where to turn to, you know, when they're experiencing this illness. A lot of times as women, we have all these roles. We're wives, we're mothers, we're sisters, we're daughters. And we have a tendency as nurturers to put ourselves last. When women are going through cancer, we still have all those responsibilities. So you always need that support system. And a lot of times your family doesn't really know how to be that support system because they're so busy worrying about you being sick and they're broken themselves. So Sister Girl Foundation is very critical in that aspect because it's that support system that you actually need. To. Shantana is someone that came into my life and just became so very important. Shantana has a lot going on a lot that she's responsible for. However, she's such a beautiful kindred spirit where as much as she does, she's always still giving. She's courageous. Phenomenal. Because that's her coin phrase, Shantana phenomenally made. Shantana is just one of those awesome people that you meet in your life. She cares about everyone and everything. And she's willing to support you and anything you ask her to do, which is just remarkable. If you don't know Shantana, get to know her. If you have the opportunity to sit with Shantana for 10, 15 minutes to hear her story, I promise you, you'll walk away inspired. I know I was. I started volunteering with the American Cancer Society because I saw a great need within the community. Dealing with a lot of loss in my family, people very close to me passing away as a result of different types of cancers, I wanted to do something that was impactful. The work that I do with the Sister Girl Foundation, providing education, support, and awareness to women in the community battling different types of cancers and illnesses, mainly endometriosis, breast cancer, and ovarian cancer. We just want to make sure that other women are well equipped with the illnesses that they are struggling or battling, especially when you first get diagnosed. You want to make sure that you have the tools that you need to have a healthy journey with the illnesses. Volunteering with the American Cancer Society, it means so much to me personally and the rest of the sister girls because we get to do something and get to see smiles on people's faces. You know, when you get that diagnosis of cancer, that's something that a lot of people can't understand unless you actually had that diagnosis yourself. And so it's just that you come in the door, they make you feel like family, make you feel welcomed. This is something that 
I feel God impl implanted this. This was something, you know, you think of what is your purpose in life. And I feel that being of service to others and being a part of the American Cancer Society gives me that and helps me with my purpose and walk in life. Being selected as a Women Leading the Way to Wellness honoree, it means so much to me. To be among such prestigious women was a great honor. Just to be able to look at the great things that these women have done in their careers and in their lives of giving back and being of service, it just really made me feel great to be a part of that team that truly touched my heart and it literally made me break down into tears because of the women that we help on a regular basis. Just seeing those smiles in their faces and it just reminds me of why I'm doing what I'm doing and it's not for the recognition. We're hoping that we can make a difference to other women who are suffering in silence to provide you with the education, support, just celebrate you and help you celebrate life and just be an all around healthy person regardless of what you're going through. Just know that you have a sister girl supporting you. Thank you very much.